Good morning, cryptocurrency. I hope you're doing fantastic, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here, do subscribe to the channel. We're going to stick around through the entire bear market, help you navigate those tumultuous waves of cryptocurrency volatility. So today we've got GameStop launches Web3 Ethereum wallet that leverages Loop Rings ZK roll-up tech. So this is some bullish news right here. As we can see, um, the consumer electronics and gaming software retailer GameStop has officially revealed the company's self-custodial Web3 Ethereum wallet. And um, what this is important for is that the, the wallet will actually utilize Loop Rings Layer 2 ZK roll-up technology to provide users with fast and fairly priced transactions. As you see, we've got some like gamey things over here. We've got the Loop Ring L2 displayed on the wallet, and I think that also looks extremely good. Um, if we look down a little bit as well, harnessing the power of Loop Rings ZK roll-up tech and Ethereum Layer 2 scaling protocol, GameStop gives you low-cost and fast transactions with Ethereum security, opportunity, and global reach. This allows you to reduce fees and network congestion while always remaining in control of your funds. So I think this is really important, the fact that, you know, Loopring are also getting themselves involved with these uh, metaverse and gaming companies um, with massive, massive, like, market penetration. They're building good relationships at the moment. Another thing I want to share with you, we're back to the FUD, guys. We're back to the whale FUD. We're back to the CEO FUD. We're back to the billionaire FUD. So this is quite classic. Guggenheim CIO Scott Minard is trying to talk Bitcoin down to $8,000. <laughs> Yeah, right. Um, so we can see this happened on CNBC, of course, another media outlet. Last time he tried to talk down Bitcoin nefariously, Bitcoin turned up and went 100%. So basically, this guy loves to FUD the crap out of the crypto markets and basically yoink they want to take your cryptocurrency and put your cryptocurrency into their wallet and that's what happens in bear markets it's basically crypto robbery guys it's literally crypto robbery so what's going on at the moment is 0.527 dollars for our friend loop ring rank 79 in the coin market cap or the crypto rank space and we have a very modest market capitalization of 657 million dollars which makes me think you know easy 5 to 10x it could occur over the next five to 10 years. Of course, we can't get excited too quickly. We've already seen the peak euphoria in the markets. We've already seen the explosion over here effectively was our, um, I'd say our level or a flat correction over here. We got the double top position and ever since it's been lower highs and pretty much lower lows, macro down trend. So let's have a look at Loopring today. And I think it's important that we just start off by looking retrospectively. What happened is before in our, you know, bull market of 2018, we had a major correction. We come down quite a bit. Actually, it was very harsh, very harsh, a classic 98% correction for the altcoin. So far, we've had from the market cycle top down to bottom, we've had a 91%. If you were to assume that we could still get that 99% or so, you're looking at 0 0.065 USD loop ring. So never rule this out, never rule this out. We do have a huge level of support at the 0 0.35 level. But I think what's interesting is, of course, we had this big correction. We did correct from the first impulse. We came down to the 0.786 just below. Then we got a nice bounce off the top of it. If we look at the bounce, the bounce itself was up to the 0.382 fib. So if we look at that once again from the beginning of our impulse over here, we've come below the 0.786 and we got that impulse at this particular low. So this swing low here from the 0.61 came up and what was the impulse here? Well, the impulse was all the way to basically the 0.236 on this particular occasion. So that's quite an interesting one to also look at, guys. Um, it's the fact that we've got the obvious signs of overbought market euphoria and greed, and then we get that distribution on the way down. You get the price markup again, and then you get the distribution, distribution. So it looks very, very similar, in my opinion, to 2017, 2018. Um, and what that makes me think is, are we effectively setting ourselves up now for a bit of a, a crypto winter, trading sideways for some time, coming back and through resistances. Crypto's boring, crypto's dead, crypto's a scam, nobody wants crypto anymore, until boom, you know, the euphoric sirens start ringing, ringing again. Everyone's going crazy, everyone's on Telegram, everyone's on Twitter, everyone's on Facebook, everyone's an expert, everyone's a genius. And that's what happens, isn't it? So this is where you're making your money, guys. This right here, let's remind ourselves, is where you make your money. You don't make the money here. 
don't make it here. Don't make it here when you're the one millionth person to receive the information. At the end of the line, you're that little, you're the one at the very top of the bag. You're going to make your money here. This is where you're making your money. And um, it sounds so easy to say it, but that is where you're going to make your money. You're not going to make it at the top. You're not going to make it in the, the extreme greed phase. If you're trying to get rich tomorrow or next week in cryptocurrency, it's not going to work. And you need to have a long-term strategy, guys. I cannot say this enough. A long-term strategy is the one that always works. And that's what I'm building right now. My 20, 30 to 20, 35 long-term huddle portfolio is what I am building because I want more financial freedom. I want a better life for my friends. I want a better life for my family. I want a better life for me and my future children. And this is what I'm going to be doing in order to, you know, recognize um, market opportunity. And it's scooping up the fear, to be honest. So what's happening at the moment for Loop Ring on the hourly time frame? We look at the short-term price analysis now. So we can see we've got a bit of a double top forming right here. Um, and if we were to lose the support right here, we could easily come down quite a little bit. So if we take the double top itself, there's our neckline here. We could easily come technical targets around $0.39. So we could at least lose this support right here. Um, if we do break down from this bearish trading pattern, one thing I notice is on the RSI, we are looking quite oversold. We're sitting at 30. So we could also get you know, a bounce to the upside, retesting the resistance up here of about 0.63 US dollars. So that's what I'm seeing at the moment on the hourly time frame. It is a bit of a double top forming. As you see, oversold, but usually when we are oversold to these levels, we do get a small bounce back in the markets. Daily time frame, we do have a big, big red candle right now. So we got that rejection at this resistance of 0.63. We're retesting that two, uh, 20 day moving average, which is this purple line. Now, usually in a downtrend, you're retesting it as a resistance. Um, as you see, you retest, rejection, retest, rejection. But what we're getting now is a retest of 20 day moving average as a support. And if we can hold this particular level, we will see that bounce to the upside, maybe even back up to 0.63. You get the retest of resistance and then you could bust back through to the 0.71 and then break back through. So that's what I do speculate could potentially happen here. Loop ring is in a big, big, sort of a falling wedge to be honest but it looks like we already got the breakout so we've missed that on the analysis side of things we're getting that breakout now but actually that does tell us we're also retesting this diagonal um support uh, resistance as a support level so it's very very important to also consider those things do i think loop ring would be a good investment to hold for a few years well the fact that layer two you know they're a scalable solution for ethereum and the fact that they're already partnering up with big metaverse projects makes me think absolutely yes and what could we potentially see for loop ring in the future well if we look at the um, fibonacci extension and assume that this 0.32 is the market cycle bottom i would be probably looking for the next targets because if we look at what happened on this bull market here um, we can see market cycle bottom. We came up to around the point, well, the 1.618 golden Fibonacci level. So let's remove this one. You can see we busted through the 1.414. We hit that target. Look at that. That's where we want to hit between the 0.272 and the point, no, 0.618. Of course, on the 1.2 and the 1.6. This is the pragmatic target zone. So I would probably just simply use historical data here guys let's not make it rocket science and um basically just take the swing high to swing low we can see what targets we're going to get for the next bull market and that's again between the 1.2s and the 1.618 so we're looking at this particular range between four dollars 82 and also six dollars 19. now those numbers seem just astronomically high but we were just talking about a five to ten x is absolutely possible with this project considering the market capital is only 654 million dollars so this is why i very much think we can definitely see a five to ten dollar loop ring in the near future so if you do want to grab some loop ring today guys of course i'm just a guy that makes youtube videos use my link down below click right at the top to open one of the best exchanges today and get some loop ring for that long term huddle 
portfolio diversification is key as well guys you can't rely on one or two cryptos i mean just you know use terra luna as an example if you were all in on luna you'd be in a bad situation and of course not all assets correlate with each other so that's my price target guys for loopring at the moment i do think it's got a long way to come but just zooming out you can see that we're heading towards the nostalgic undervaluation zone and i think that's quite important loopring of course big following ethereum layer 2 solution so the part of ethereum you know loop bringer here to stay that's what's important otherwise they wouldn't be a solution to ethereum they wouldn't just keep on pushing they've got the cash reserves to last through and you can see here they've just hit 200,000 loopers so onwards and upwards for this particular project very bullish for loop ring i think it's got a big future ahead of it anyway guys make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here leave a comment like down below come and join the cryptocurrency best news and insights channel in the telegram section down below and also learn to trade at telegram if you want to learn how to be a cheeky little trader get all those uh trading patterns down to graft and yeah make some money anyway guys have a great day see you soon